Dallas Black Chamber of Commerce is hosting its 34th annual Quest for Success luncheon later on this week. It recognizes African-American entrepreneurs in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That luncheon honors their contributions to the business and civic communities here in North Texas. And so every day this week leading up to Friday's luncheon, we have dedicated some time to honor this year's honorees right here on the show. Joining us today, Pam Uterich and Richard Thomas. Pam is the president and CEO of Chocolate Secret. Everybody wants to see her coming. <laughs> and uh, Richard is the owner of the Island Spot, which I hear is very good as well. Uh, and, you know, this is kind of it. First of all, congratulations Thank to both you. of you for being honored this week. Thank you. Uh, you know, what stood out to me is that you are a native of St. Croix. You yes. are a native of Jamaica. Yes. Both of you came in here uh, to the U.S. in your late teens, mm -hmm. uh, had very successful business careers, and then became entrepreneurs. Uh, we've heard so much lately about uh, people who are not from this country, people who immigrated to this country. Talk a little bit about what it's like uh, to be an immigrant success story uh, that other kids can now look up to. I'll go ahead. For me, I look at America as opportunity. Mm -hmm. And um, so coming here, the, the ability to be able to try to go after what you want and to push for it and then to see the returns on your personal investment is very rewarding. Mm -hmm. So coming from Jamaica, I grew up in a fairly poor community. So for me, being able to utilize my education and my experiences and then apply it to something and work hard at it and get a return is helpful. Mm -hmm. So what I would tell young immigrants or young people is that um, if you can put your mind and your skill set towards it, but also put work at it, mm -hmm then you should see a return. Because you gotta have the work part of it. You gotta have that hunger uh, to keep pushing. You know, for me what it was is an intellectual clarity. Uh, since I didn't have a cultural or visceral reaction to the United States, it was all here. Hmm. So when I came here, I could see what America was providing, mm -hmm. and then I was able to intellectualize mm -hmm. it. So when I approach business, it's from the mind. Mm -hmm. I see the positives and negatives. I see how to react to this, how to react to that. I don't feel it viscerally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think coming from someplace else, what it creates for you is intellectual clarity. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. looks like a like an examination, like you're in school, like you're studying something. It's always interesting to get that perspective from people who exactly. have a different set of goggles on than maybe you have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, tell me this. So you have a business background. You have a law background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both of you branched out and became entrepreneurs in things that are your passion. <laughs> yes. What is it like to get to have that second life uh, as far as a career goes and to pursue something that really means something to you and that you enjoy doing and then to be recognized for it on top of that. Mm. Uh, so I'll start with that yeah. one. I'll tell you, for me, uh, my I have several businesses actually, so Chocolate Secrets is the one I'm here to talk about right now. Chocolate Secrets wasn't about chocolate for me, it was about the family. Mm. In St. Croix, you're always a family. Th there's mm. no way that someone can walk past me and I don't feel as though I'm related to them, mm. that I owe them respect and concern. So if you come to Chocolate Secrets, what you see is my family, my thought of family. Mm -hmm. If you, that's why every child that comes in gets a free whatever they want to, because mm -hmm. if there's a baby on an island, a baby in St. Croix, I, I am immediately that child's mother. Mm -hmm. I make sure the child is safe and happy, and that's the same thing I do at Chocolate Secrets. Mm -hmm. So you see, again, it's coming from a different perspective, mm -hmm. and what Chocolate Secrets creates is a family environment. So that's what it is for me. It's my home. I get to invite all of Dallas into my house and, and embrace them. And make them happy, too. And make them happy, yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I bought a bunch of chocolate. I should have brought some to show you, but I have Absolutely. some in the back. Yes. <laughs> we'll be happy later. Perfect. Uh, does that sort of resonate with you, that same thing? It is. Um, it does. And um, for me, my passion was about sharing my culture mm -hmm. um, through food and through that experience. So mm -hmm. coming here and seeing how we have... Um, the Jamaican food experience was actually shared. Mm -hmm. It wasn't what I thought was ideal. So going out there and trying to truly share in an authentic environment, what we do, how we do it, and really try to give someone a feeling of, this is who I am mm -hmm. and this is what my culture is, that helps. And then when you face challenges later on, having to work from your passion pushes you through that hurdle. Mm -hmm. Because in business, we all are gonna hit a roadblock. We're all gonna hit a challenge. But for me, when I'm working from a passion, it's a lot easier 
to keep going. Mm. Well, you both love what you do, and yes, uh, that do. is obvious, and it's uh, great to see both of you being recognized like thank this. You. Uh, thank congratulations you. Thank again. Thank you very much. Really. Thank you. And thanks for being on with us today. Thanks. And thanks thank for you. bringing that chocolate Oh, yes. <laughs> Especially Valentine's Day. That's always a nice thing, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get it in today. <laughs>